everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this feathers afghan square and uh, if you're following along this is week five of the make it your way crochet along. So this is the feathers afghan square. This is a beautifully thick crochet square solid texture and it's worked in the beautiful feathers stitch. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using approximately 156 yards of a worsted weight yarn. This is Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. It's a number four weight and you're going to need approximately 156 yards per square. You're also going to need for this square a five millimeter or an H8 crochet hook. Now if you've been following the crochet along you'll know for the other squares we've used a six millimeter crochet hook so we are going to go a step down today uh, just because these stitches work up a little bit larger uh, than some of the other stitches that we've used in this crochet along. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of the other video tutorials here on my channel. Also the rest of the squares for the Make It Your Way Crochet Along are also available and here under the Make It Your Way Crochet Along playlist. So you'll find them all there. And uh, if you're doing the crochet along again you're going to have to make four of these squares for it. So thank you so much for joining me. Let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Now our square today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for this square will need to be a 36. If you need to change the size of this square you will need a multiple of two stitches but today we're going to chain 36. Once you have 36 chained, and this is going to give us a square that's about 10 and a half inches uh, square. Once you have 36 chained, you're going to begin row one by working a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then half double crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you're going to have a total of 35 stitches. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row two, we're going to begin by working a half double crochet into our first stitch. The chain one at the beginning of your rows does not count as a stitch. You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and work a half double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next. All the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to start working some of our feather stitches. For row three, begin by working a half double crochet into your first stitch. Next, you're going to work a feather stitch over the next two spaces. So to work your feather stitch, and in particular this is a beginning feather stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to yarn over, 
insert your hook into the skipped space or stitch two rows below yarn over and draw up a loop next yarn over insert your hook into the next chain one space yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook that's how you work your feather stitch you're then going to chain one and this time work a feather stitch beginning in the same chain one space as your last stitch so yarn over insert your hook into the same chain one space as the last leg of your final stitch of your last stitch yarn over and drop a loop yarn over insert your hook into the skipped stitch two rows below yarn over and drop a loop when you're drawing up these loops make sure you're drawing them up to the height of your stitch then yarn over insert your hook into the next chain one space yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook chain one you're then going to repeat that all the way across working feather stitches all the way across so yarn over insert your hook into the same chain one space as the last stitch yarn over draw up a loop yarn over insert your hook into the skipped stitch just below that chain one space yarn over draw up a loop yarn over insert your hook into the next chain one space yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook chain one and repeat that all the way across until you come to your final half double crochet stitch now I've come all the way across I'm working my final feather stitch here once you come across and you have one half double crochet remaining simply chain one and work a half double crochet into the top of that final stitch you're then going to chain one and turn your work now for rows four through to 26 you're going to repeat your row three so this is uh, for rows four through to 26 yarn over and insert your hook in the first stitch work a half double crochet and chain one you're then going to work a feather stitch this time when you're working your feather stitches you're working into the spaces that are below so for our first one we're going to yarn over insert our crochet hook into the top space before that first feather stitch yarn over and drop a loop yarn over now insert your hook in the space two rows below yarn over and drop a loop yarn over skip that next feather stitch and insert your hook into the next space yarn over drop a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook chain one and repeat yarn over starting in the space the same space as the last stitch just worked insert your hook yarn over drop a loop yarn over reach down into the space two rows below insert your hook yarn over drop a loop yarn over skip that feather stitch into the next space insert your hook yarn over drop a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook chain one and repeat when you come across you're going to work that half double crochet into the final stitch chain one and return and turn your work and then you're going to repeat that once again all the way through until you have a total of 26 rows uh, it'll be 24 rows of the feather stitch plus your two rows of half double crochet stitches then your piece should be about square if it is not square you may have to add or uh, subtract a couple of rows uh, depending on the design that you're working with so go ahead work that and then meet me back here and we will work a simple edging around the outside edge of our square
Once you've worked through to row 26 for your square, it's going to look like this. You're then ready to work a simple edging around the outside edge. So what we're going to do along this top edge, if you haven't already, you can join your yarn with a slip stitch in the top corner. And along this top edge, we're going to evenly work 34 single crochet stitches. Now, when you started this square in your first row, you will have had 35 stitches. So that means at some point along the length of the top and at the bottom, you're going to need to skip a stitch. So on mine, when I was working it, I was skipping it right there in the middle. And this is if you're working the make it your way crochet along. Otherwise, it's up to you how many stitches you want to have around the edge. And even in the crochet along, you can change the number of stitches you have along each edge. Just make note of it because you'll want each square to be the same so that it makes it easier for joining when it comes time to join them together. So I'm just going to skip the one stitch here and then continue on working single crochet stitches all the way across. Once you come all the way across and you've worked 34 single crochet stitches into your corner, you're going to work one single crochet stitch and then turn your work so that you're working along this rough edge and you're once again going to work 34 single crochet stitches evenly all the way across. Now if it helps, you may wish to put a stitch marker about halfway and then uh, work half on one side, half on the other. It's up to you, but again, you'll want 34 stitches all the way across. Then work one in your corner, work along the bottom, one in the corner, work along your opposite side, one in the corner, and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. That's all there is to working the Feathers Afghan Square. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe if you happen to make this square. And of course, if you're participating in the Make It Your Way Crochet Along, be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet so that I can come by and admire your works in progress and your finished pieces. So until then, until I see you next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.